Understanding, play fast and loose. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that you might have come across, play fast and loose. This expression is packed with history and nuance, and understanding it can really help you grasp the subtleties of the English language. So, let's explore what it means to play fast and loose, how it's used, and some examples to clear up any confusion. When someone says that a person is playing fast and loose, they're describing behavior that is reckless, irresponsible, or deceptive. It's often used to criticize someone who isn't following the rules or who is acting in a way that's untrustworthy or manipulative. The phrase can apply in various contexts, from personal relationships to business dealings. The phrase, play fast and loose, has a fascinating origin that dates back to medieval times. It was originally associated with a con game where a belt or strap was folded loosely so it could be pulled away quickly, tricking someone into thinking they could hold on to it. This historical background emphasizes the theme of deception and trickery linked to the phrase. Using play fast and loose in conversation or writing effectively communicates a strong disapproval of someone's actions. Here are a few tips. Context is key, make sure the situation involves irresponsibility or deception. Tone of voice, it's often used in a critical or disapproving manner. Examples, incorporating examples can clarify your point. For instance, he's playing fast and loose with the company's finances. To help solidify your understanding, let's look at some examples. One. The new manager is playing fast and loose with the rules, and it's affecting team morale. 2. You can't afford to play fast and loose when you're dealing with legal documents. 3. She played fast and loose with his feelings, never committing to the relationship. Understanding the phrase, play fast and loose enriches your English vocabulary and allows you to accurately describe situations involving deceit or recklessness. Remember, language is not just about words but the stories and histories they carry. I hope this video has been informative and adds a new layer to your language learning journey. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!